Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and if you are a British kid and have lived in the UK in basically all of the 21st century, you will have definitely heard of the Tracy Beaker franchise based off the books written by Jacqueline Wilson. The original story of Tracy Beaker came out in 2002, literally the same year as the channel that it launched it, CBBC, also came out. So it was there right from the beginning, and it lasted till 2005 and was extremely popular. Then in 2010, the franchise returned with a new cast and only three main characters staying the same, which brought in Tracy Beaker Returns lasting from 2010 to 2012. And notice throughout these two shows, it was only really on for a few years ever at one time. And collectively, the Tracy Beaker shows only lasted for around eight seasons altogether. So that's two full shows lasting eight seasons with a huge gap in between. Then, straight after Trace Beaker Returns, in 2013, The Dumping Ground was launched, which was the next spin off. And. It's still going in 2020. Not only that, but there has been over 150 episodes, but 8 seasons consisting not of the usual 10 to 13 episodes, but between 13 to 24 episodes per season, with a ninth season already confirmed and ready to begin filming in January 2021. Like, when on earth is it ever going to stop? It has been a decade since Tracy Beaker Returns first came out, yet the dumping ground is still going strong, and it doesn't look like it's ever going to stop anytime soon. However, with the recent news of My Mum Tracy Beaker being announced, how long is it going to be before this new show completely overshadows the long-lasting dumping ground series? In other words, when will the dumping ground end? But before we go on answering this question, make sure that you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't already, and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make a brand new video. So, the problem we have with a show like The Dumping Ground is it can go on basically forever and technically can never end. There's lots of shows like this, such as reality shows or game shows, where they can simply just replace the actors or hosts or cast in the show, and it can technically never end. And the BBC aren't hidden from doing this. Some of their most successful shows use this exact technique. Most notably, Doctor Who, which had been go which has been going on for over 55 years and isn't going to stop anytime soon. And they can do that because every time the show needs to change or reboot itself, they just get the Doctor to regenerate and then the show can carry on as normal. The BBC were very clever with the dumping ground. They knew how popular the story of Tracy Beaker and Tracy Beaker Returns were, so obviously they wanted to carry that on. And the only reason why they couldn't was because those shows were purely about Tracy Beaker herself with the actress Danny Harmer. And with her out of the equation, they could technically carry on this forever. But should they? I mean, they began testing this out in some episodes of the story of Tracy Beaker in series 5, where Tracy sometimes would barely appear in the episode. It was basically foreshadowing what the dumping ground would be like. And it's very simple. New kids come in, old ones leave, and it repeats. And it's quite impressive. They have done it a lot. Jodie currently is the only person who's still in the dumping ground as a main regular character who also appeared in Tracy Beaker Returns. Everyone else has been replaced and they could be doing it for years to come. However, there is problems with this system. Since the show just carries on repeating itself and there is so many episodes, it just means ideas and plots are repeated and continuity can easily be messed up. For example, in series 2 of Trace Beaker Returns, Mike was forced to leave the dumping ground as Elm Tree House was being closed down. Perfectly fine and an original idea. But then, in season 4 of the dumping ground, the same thing happens with just a little tweak. Mike again loses his job and then in season 5, the dumping ground is almost closed down. Basically a repeat of what happened a couple of years before. And the continuity errors become very noticeable as characters seem to forget that stuff like this has already happened before. This most notably happens with Mike yet again as he appears in all three shows. In the final episode of the story of Tracy Beaker, Mike has a conversation with Tracy about how he remembers him getting into a fight with his dad and then returning and seeing how his dad still loved him. 
But then, over 10 years later, Mike officially leaves the dumping ground because he apparently used to live in care throughout his life and had apparently never told anyone, not even Tracy Beaker herself, that he used to live in care and has a twin brother. Like, really? If anyone's going to know this, it's going to be Tracy Beaker. Yet, apparently, Mike had never told anyone for years and had been lying about it all this time. You can't tell me that when the writers were writing that scene about Mike and his dad that I explained before, they thought that this character was in care. He might have been, but they definitely didn't plan for that to happen. And at least at times, the dumping ground isn't blind to this happening. There's been many repeated characters and story arcs, and it's kind of hard not to when there is so many episodes, and basically most of the original ideas have all been used up by now. For example, when T returns to the dumping ground in series 5, she officially meets Candy Rose and says, you remind me of someone, basically hinting at the fact that Candy Rose is literally an exact copy of what Carmen was. So, with this constant repeat and quality of ideas slowly beginning to decrease, why do they keep doing it? Surely, they should just take a break like how they did before and then return later, because the show is losing interest. And trust me, I hate it as much as you guys because I love these shows, they are some of my favourites. Now, I know viewing figures aren't everything, and CBBC only usually gets around 300,000 viewers per day, and now more people are watching on streaming services than they used to, but there is still a clear pattern you can see from the data even if it isn't exactly precise. So the viewing figures vary from episode to episode, but on average the dumping ground in series 1 got around 545,000 viewers. Then in series 2, only 396,000 viewers, that is a big decrease. Then series 3, 311,000, series 4, 290,000, series 5, 199,750. Series 6, 180,000, and Series 7, 190,000. Of course, we don't have Series 8 yet as it's still coming out, but apart from the last season when it jumped slightly, there is a constant downward trend of viewership, going from at the very beginning having over 500,000 viewers to now only getting below 200,000 viewers. Now, like I said, this doesn't mean that the jumping ground is failing, definitely not. Because like I said, this doesn't include iPlayer and the TV show is still extremely popular. I mean, they have many spin-offs such as the survival files, the film specials and my life in care videos. But even when the dumping ground is put on Friday night when CBBC's viewers are highest, from season 4 downwards, it doesn't even beat the average of 300,000 viewers CBBC usually receives per day. That is slightly worrying. Compare this with the most viewed episodes on CBBC ever, and apart from the Sarah Jane Adventures thrashing every show, there is only one other show that matches it, and that is, you guessed it, Tracy Beaker Returns, with these sort of ratings. So the top four most viewed programs are all Sarah Jane Adventures, but then five, six, and seven are all Tracy Beaker Returns, with viewing figures over 850,000 viewers watching this for the first time. That is a lot more than what The Dumping Ground gets today. So how come Tracy Beaker Returns did so well, yet The Dumping Ground is just slowly decreasing? And I strongly believe, personally, it's just because Tracy Beaker Returns was simple, yet effective it didn't drag on. It only went for two years with three seasons, the lowest out of any of the shows in the franchise, and had some of the best episodes ever in my personal opinion. And from these figures, we can see in the first few years the dumping ground had, it still had that big amount of viewers. It was fresh, the quality was good, but even as a huge fan, you have to admit, it has slowly begun to decrease as they do copy and repeat plot points, and then basically run out of ideas. Personally, I think they've just carried it on for way too long, and they need a break like how they did before. To bring a new fresh audience in, they need to leave it for a while, and then maybe come back to it later on. And to be honest, that might be what I reckon they will do. With my mum Tracy Beaker coming out now, like I said before, it is going to completely overshadow the dumping ground, and maybe that's why the BBC are doing it to draw attention away so that they can end the dumping ground and then maybe reboot it later on down the line as fans will still have My Mom Tracy Beaker to look forward to. It just depends whether you want the show to keep on going and the standard of quality gradually going down and just becoming very repetitive 
or have a break and come back with the highest standard of quality that it used to have with new ideas. But of course, it may just carry on, but I'm not sure for many years longer, as many shows do have their time and The Dumping Ground has definitely had its. I don't think it will stop straight away, but I think once my mum Tracy Beaker has got the viewership, it's probably not going to be long, unfortunately, till The Dumping Ground follows the trend that the other three shows have gone down and will slowly end. Maybe next year, after season 9, or maybe they'll do up to season 10, finish it off after a long 10 years. But anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell us in the comment section down below what you think about the dumping ground. Whether you think it should end and whether you have any ideas when it will end. Personally for me, I just really want the quality to be back up to where it used to be and have really high standards. So I wouldn't mind if it ended for a bit and then returned later. But there's probably loads and loads of opinions, so make sure that you let me know whether you want the dumping ground to end, whether you think it will, or whether you think it might just go on forever and they'll keep on replacing the characters, and hopefully they'll get new original ideas more often. But anyway guys, we've been here on Gate of Theories, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.